hot tub time machine. There's a place just beyond the present where the past goes to die in the name of progress, where prayers become quaint folk songs instead of blueprints, instead of sheet music to the revolution, instead of the past words to our next donut around the sun. There's a natural mystic Blowing through the years Like a trumpet First and last Ever since we slung shot That rocket to the moon Chock full of our dreams Never to return Replaced astrology with astronauts Gods with MTV awards Our imagination with our arrogance Be careful You could put somebody's sky out Challenger was the Tower of Babel of my generation. We are trying to kick costs in the solar system. Lewis and Clark, her prized possessions like Pocahontas, flag her front lawn with mirrors on every fraction of planet so that when we look up, we can point and say, that's me. When the cure for ego could be 20,000 leagues under an NBA arena right next to the cure for Alzheimer's and everything else we forgot from our ancestors because at the bottom of the ocean, no one will see your penalty for excessive celebration. And to add insult and injury to that slap in the face, they won't see or hear that either. So it's so tempting colonize your name in neon lights across every unclaimed fragment of interplanetary rock that shows up as unconquered in a star registry. Point at it with pride like you found yourself when everyone who hears this poem knows it's only your reflection. In short, the universe will never belong to us until we get our inner verse in order. And once we get our inner verse in order, we won't need an entire universe to fit our big ass heads in the room. We will know our place just beyond the past where the present goes to fly in the name of content. Realize that we are the hot tub time machine kind of magic that is both past and future in the same person at the same now. Realize that those higher forms of intelligence we go mock for are secretly afraid of the boogeyman in the moon. They are hiding behind eight-year-old you in that little nook between ventricle and vertebrate, your favorite hiding place for the past 14 years and 144 generations between your heart and your backbone, the kind of evolution that wakes my son up every single morning. At that place just beyond the horizon called history, can't recall the address exactly, but overheard the ancestors referring to it as Atlantis, and they might still be there, waiting for us to call. And you ain't gotta be NASA to figure out how to do that.